free range chicken livers, which do in fact taste a whole lot better. Uh, I gotta clean them up real quickly. Turn a cast iron pan onto high. The finest butter you can afford. Let's just get that melting. For the sear, I also like to use a little bit of olive oil. It helps to raise the temperature on the butter so it doesn't just totally burn. Let's get a shallot put together here. You can just give these like a rough dice, really. No big deal. This pan is definitely hot. And don't salt the livers right now. It'll actually break down their cell walls really quickly. And we just want to get a really nice sear on this. So drop that in. All right. And livers have a tendency to pop, which can really hurt. Get your splatter guard. Put it on there. We really don't want to overcook the liver. It will not taste good. You want them a little bit pink in the middle. All right, and then immediately toss in all of the shallots. A little bit of fresh thyme. All right, and at this point, we can season. Salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we're gonna throw back the livers in with this. All right, give them a big toss. We're gonna toss in some brandy. And you only use cognac or brandies you are very familiar with that taste good. None of that cheap shit. This is very important. Good ounce or two. A little flambe. Oh God, that's intoxicating. Okay, turn that off and quickly get it out of the pan. Now, if you're really hungry, you can just eat that because it's fucking spectacular. But when you want to trick people into eating liver, you're going to let this cool. And then we're going to whip it up with a whole bunch more butter into like killer pate. Just hang on. Dump in your beautiful chicken livers. And then before we add any butter, let's just get it pulsed up and smoothed out a little bit. This is a, this Kerrygold is a half a pound of butter. Um, I'm not gonna even gonna use all of this. I have three tablespoons in there already, and I'm gonna take about another stick or so, and we're just gonna cut this up into cubes. We're not gonna add this all at once. So now, take about four of those cubes, toss them in, top on. That's another one, two, three, four. Uh, in there, turn that on. Okay, crucial moment here. It has all come together. We have all the fat in there that's gonna stay in. Now we're gonna taste and then season. So I'm just gonna take a little. Oh, <laughs> it's so fucking good. Toss in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. But you don't want like detectable levels of pepper. The finishing touch is a fresh tablespoon of cognac or good brandy. Give it a taste. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. All right, now we're gonna get these into ramekins and into the fridge. Get a small saucepan or anything that can go on to the heat. Grab the rest of your butter and just get that melted down. And what we're gonna do is just pour this over the top. It's gonna help to seal some of that in. Gives this a nice white layer when it's been refrigerated. All you gotta do is toss these in the fridge. Give them about two or three hours or so, they're gonna be stupendous.